Yeah, um, we worked on uh, a song that they, uh, they put out a snippet of called Call Me. Um, I was happy, or I was lucky enough to go on tour with her, me and Shika and her, and um, she loved our music and she has a very good relationship with BBNZ, which is my label. So we ended up making that song together, produced by Jews. Yeah. See better days, find better ways, elevate and make better pay. Ah, uh, I have a long list, but for now, I think the, the one thing I, I feel is super fixable is the sound when you're performing, like the production for performances. I feel like it could be way, 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 way better, and it's super fixable, so it 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 it, it, it bought me small. My dog, 95 for this degree I get, I survive and so make me happy. Oh, why not? Any anybody anywhere can win a Grammy as long as they understand what they need to do to win a Grammy. Because there's a criteria like um, even for the world albums, they have a select list of points that you need to hit before. So it's not just about good music, and we make good music. You understand? So if anybody makes that their target i want to win a grammy and they spend a long time working towards it i believe it's achievable i mean uh rocky dawuni has been nominated before so but the catch we say you be comfortable when you slip small no, the public... my highest target to be touring the world with my band doing um close to 200 shows a year on the world tour while i was putting out music for uh large number of people to appreciate yeah so that's the but the cats we say you be comfortable when you slip small no the public three of my favorite Ghanaian rappers um I have to say Obra Four and then I have to say Mensa and then I have to say um E L Reggie Rockstone. Yeah that's four at least before at the moment I have to say um Quisiata and then I have to say Papi Kojo and I have to say myself, yeah. A real life, I, I am inspired by life and my experiences and the experiences of people close to me that I, I, I see or I witness and I put that into the music to help other people going through the same situations to know that they are not alone and then, yeah, help them fight. Which that's your dad, Kofi. Rich dad, poor dad. Um, my biggest competition is uh, me today and me tomorrow. Yeah, the only person I have to do better than is me today. So every time I step in front of a mic or I'm on stage or whatever, I'm trying to outdo myself. Yeah. Which dad you born now? Uh, you go be. Yeah, so two of the songs are like five years old, but everything else was recorded between um, January and then April this year. And then we, most of the stress that we encountered was actually features, because sometimes people will take long to send their verses and stuff. But as for me recording there, it, it wasn't really super stressful. I have a home studio, so usually I go to beats. If I have an idea, I put it down and I record myself at home. And that's usually very, very quick. But getting other people to feature on it, sending them songs, waiting for them to get in the zone so they can like do something and send back, that took a while and some of it was stressful. There were even features that uh, didn't come through in time. Which of the songs on there is your favorite? I love all the songs. Like I love every single song because I made them. Um, but I feel like the first three songs define the project. Yeah, so the first three. So when you listen to your album, it feels like you put your whole self in the album. How's it like? Um, it doesn't feel like that to me because I know, <laughs> I know there's a million more stories that I didn't tell, that I'll tell as we go on. But yeah, I put, I put a lot into it, and when you hear it back, it sort of feels like, especially if people are around, it sort of feels like somebody is reading your diary to you. And some, sometimes you're a little like shy. I Me, mean, I'm a shy person, so yeah, I get shy. Like, yeah, super shy.
You can tell, eh? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, then I'm really trying, though, because I'm super shy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think the second song on there, people wanted to know whether that was a true life story and um, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, and about my relationship with my dad, yeah. And I was just saying, um, yeah, a large part of it was inspired from, like, it's not every word in the verse that is something that my dad said to me, but the hook especially is something you used to say. So that's where the song came from, yeah. So then we'll not take every word from the never mind serious. Or it's oh no no no, it's serious. I'm not saying don't take it seriously. I'm just saying with regards to Dia, it's not every word that my dad said. You understand? Because I like I was narrating it from his point of view, but it's not every single thing I said he said that he said. Yeah, I don't know if you get that. But every every single line, every single word in there. Is intentionally put there, so you have to take it seriously on all the songs. But the catch we say you be comfortable when you slip small, no, the poverty is so too much money. The poverty is if more people like when a song starts, I say if you can't help yourself, I think you need some help. So if more people will be will feel like they can be open enough and seek out help uh, with the issues that bother them with regards to depression and other mental health issues yeah then I, I'll feel like we are making progress and if we as a soci society will not start looking down on people with mental health issues and take them more seriously then yeah that'll make me super happy uh, it's doing incredibly well um, I have goals that I set for myself in everything I do and I had goals that I had set for the album and I thought maybe I was going to hit them. The time I had given myself was like six months and within the first two weeks we were like halfway through it so I'm super happy yeah. Which that's your dad Kofi? Rich dad poor dad? Okay my genre there I am a hip-hop hip life African music artist but as far as what I want to be identified as, I want to be known as a, a creator and a, a, a thought leader. Yeah. Yeah, you tell a lot of stories. Yeah, storyteller too. Yeah. Which dad you born now? Uh, you go be. Yeah, it's been amazing so far. Yeah, super amazing. It's yeah something I'll, I'll do over and over again. It keeps yeah. me grounded. Yeah, keeps me grounded, focused, and. At least you know there's one person that you have who always has your back. Yeah. And it's not difficult blending with your music career? No, 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 it's not, it's not difficult at all. Like, it's, uh, the person understands. She's also super career oriented, so there are no issues there. Would you encourage a lot of young, more young people to get married? It depends, on, it depends on what they want. If they don't want to get married, they shouldn't. If they, what I want to encourage is for you to follow society to do anything. Whatever you feel helps you, you understand, because uh, if I was following society, I wouldn't have been married when I got married, because I was young, you understand? How old did you? Yeah, I was like uh, 26 or 25, yeah. Like fresh out of school, the year I finished GIG, I got married. Yeah, so it depends on what you want to do. If you feel like marriage is not for you, don't do it. If you feel like marriage is for you, do it whenever you feel like you're ready, but don't let anybody else pressure you into anything. What question am I tired of hearing? Yeah. Uh, so how does this start for you? There are, a million, there are a million other questions like, so how does this start for you? So it's rap pain in Ghana and basically any question that's super generic, that's not like, that makes me feel like the person that's asking me hasn't done any research on anything that I have done. You understand? Yeah. I don't think I have one at the moment. Yeah. I don't think I have one at the moment. It used to be loyalty. Most are loyalty. <laughs> it's, uh, and it's an expression from uh, this cartoon that TV3 used to show. What's the uh, Ocean Girl or something? Yeah. And uh, the villain in it, he used to always 
speak to his henchmen like loyalty moves are loyalty and loyalty is a big thing to me so it's something that I used to say to myself a lot uh, currently I'm on Android before that I was on an iPhone uh, for me it depends on what you want my whole life is about do what you like so if at any point in time you feel like you want to use a Nokia go and use it Charlie yeah uh, Shatawale. Why? Um, I like Shatawale more. It's not, there isn't any reason to it. I, I just connect with him more. I like his energy. I like that he's like super real to himself and like to his art. And that's not saying Stoneboy is not an amazing artist. Stoneboy is an amazing artist, but me personally, I'm a I'm um, SM for life. For life. It's our life, yeah. So and the end was yeah now. And the down ten it's D Uh money. Money any day. Like yes. because if you have if you have money you can make a million friends. Even if they are not even if they are not like true true friends, as long as you have the money, they will do everything that a friend is supposed to do. But if you have friends and you don't have money you don't know when anybody is going to turn around and put a knife in your back. So media, it's money all day. Um, I, I always like struggle with this particular question because I feel like everybody's road is different. So I can't advise people based on what worked for me. If I tell someone do this, do that, do that, and they go and do it and it doesn't work and it looks like yeah, I wasn't being truthful. So the best I can do is tell you, believe in yourself, believe in the song that you hear in your heart and that energy, because God lives in your heart. So whatever your heart is telling you, whatever that spirit in you is telling you, just follow that and make sure you're super passionate about your heart. Yeah. Yeah, what's up guys? My name is Kojo Q and it's been live on Ghana Weekend TV. I've enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself too. For my brothers, it's out available on all streaming platforms go out there and get it you can follow me on social media kojo underscore q kojo underscore cue on instagram or twitter and on uh, facebook is ko hyphen j o c u e see you next time <laughs>